So today, <laughs> as you can see on the left hand side, I'm going to be playing a Super Bunny World. Okay, so this game is about Bunny Sanders and him uh, trying to get as many votes as he can. And it's kind of a spoof on the whole uh, Super Mario game. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, new game. You can actually download this on Steam if you want to play. But make sure you have a joypad. Etiquette for all! Honestly, the... The handling of the game is pretty good. The movements and all. And it's damn fucking cute lah. Oh sh! I, I, I'm, I'm playing around too much. Oh, I can go backwards. To the hole. This is your generic cover of a Mario game, so it can be quite fun. Here comes his boss. Okay, this game is free for download on Steam. You guys should just try it. It's hilarious. Okay, so that is like the fire flower, like the Mario game. And guess what he shoots? And there's the invincibility thing. So he's gonna be invincible for a while. So generally each uh, level has about two power-ups. So you can uh whoa, who's died there. So you can get your so-called uh growth mushroom and then your the fire flower. How important is it to gather the coins slash votes? I will see at the end of the game. Fire? No fire. Put him in jail! Yes, we have defeated Ted Cruz. Let's get the votes! Whoa, whoa, what is that? Is that ice? Yeah! yeah. Pennsylvania! Especially this game is damn cute lah. And it's not exactly like difficult or anything. Can I go in this hole? Need to get the votes! I wonder how many worlds there are. Like 52 states or... How many states does America have? Oh okay, this, this stage is actually quite hard. Sometimes the key to platform gaming is just not to concentrate actually. Just go with it. Is that Ted Cruz again? I can't punch- I, I try to punch brakes but it doesn't break. It's not that much like Super Mario. I mean this is a- is this a free... Free Mario... Mario game. So this game is actually meant to... Uh, drum up the donations and stuff for... Bernie Sanders. Because at the start of the game right? Uh, before you even start the game. Whoa! What the fuck? Why would they put that in this game? Yeah, so... At the start of the game, before you even start the game itself, right? There's an option for you to donate to Bernie Sanders or uh, whatever thing that he's doing. I'm invincible! Get the votes! Oh, fucker! Okay, 
Okay, the, the game is actually getting a bit harder. I actually have to be careful. How the game has any like lives or something? Or is it like unlimited lives? You just die as many times as you can. I can say for a game that is free and it's like made on someone's own free time, this is pretty good. Your basic uh, platforming Super Mario game. Well, I'm not a completionist, I'm just trying to complete this game as fast as possible. They put a turtle shell in between, so it's definitely going to keep on bouncing back and forth. I mean like, what the fuck? I think Super Mario is actually easier. Get my fire! Okay, let me show you. I, I can't break the bricks. What the fuck? Right now in uh, the New York level, I don't know if we, I don't know when it disconnected. So hopefully, I can do something about it. Well, I guess that was a nice break from uh, the constant dying of in this stage. <laughs> yeah, that was quite silly. Yeah, the worst thing about uh, gaming is uh, your ears get itchy and then you can't do anything about it. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this, but this, this stage is pretty hard actually. Okay, this is the hard part because it's... I don't know how far the next one is. Oh, thank god, I was so close earlier. Oh, Washington? Oh yeah, Washington DC. Will be the last stage. I'm gonna fight the orange man. How do I get- Oh wait, hmm. Yeah, how do I get up there? I have to kill the turtle and then jump up, I think. We'll find out later, we'll find out later. Yeah, I'm having a problem with this stage. Because there is this block over there that I can't reach from below and... I think I should just risk it. Yup! Yeah, so... I just slid off. Okay, well at least I know I can just jump for it, I guess. The earlier stages were so much more easier. And then suddenly this decided to just throw a lot of curveballs! Luckily, um... It's unlimited life, so... It won't frustrate a lot of people. Ah, oh, the fuck. Okay, that, that is totally my fault. I should have just jumped on the... edge, so I can at least reach further. Yeah. So this is actually a free game, right? So... You can't expect that much, but I think the game has been uh, made really well. It has all the good elements that actually makes a pretty good game. Except sometimes the movements tend to get a bit dodgy. It's like, can you make it? Can you not make it? Okay. Oh. Yeah. oh, am I going to fight Trump? I took out Ted Cruz. Is that a trap? Okay, so that is this is the fire flower. Yeah. Okay, no, don't. Uh, sorry. Please don't keep me out of the White House. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you don't even need to fight him. <sighs> you have defeated Donald Trump. Okay, so is that the game? Wow. Okay, so this uh, Bernie Sanders game, uh, Super Bernie World, is meant to help out. Bernie Sanders is made by one of the Bernie supporters. If you had to donate, you had to install the Bernie Sanders app. And texting for Bernie, I don't know why is that, phone banking, yeah, so this is all more or less to donate to Bernie Sanders. 
organized with students for Bernie. Then there's credits. So we have to fight Republicans. Trump. I think, yeah, I think it's a very creative way to gain uh, donations. And it's free. I mean, uh, anyone around the world can actually just download it. Yeah, so supposing if uh, you're Singaporean, you have an uh, auntie or something in the States, right? Yeah, you can just tell me, why don't you just play this game? And then they'll play this game and it'll give them the easier option to donate. Because sometimes some elderly or some people, they don't know how to donate. Is it through phone, through some Windows app or some online uh, thing? So this actually helps out quite a lot. Okay, so my review of this game. So considering it's free, it's done really well, it's produced really well. Emma Marson, the lead developer, has done a great job. And the artwork, I mean, it's, it's all 8-bit art, so you have to hand it to Wayne Kubia. And then the levels are pretty good, except for the last three levels, I'm like... The difficulty just suddenly just shot up. The first three levels are pretty easy. But before I got disconnected, right, the New York level was very hard. It's crazy. Oh yeah, if you could hit Trump. Well, I mean, if you could hit Trump. How? With that, right, you can't attack the president so i guess that's why they did that overall i think that's a good game yeah i think it's a really good job i'll advise people who actually have steam to just download it you know just have a good half an hour i, I spent only half an hour playing this game and it's only four times three 12 levels game over three two one system shut down